Hey guys, this is Aaron Whitney from ScreenCrush.com, here to bring you all the American horror story theories you could dream of. Last year, co-creator Ryan Murphy revealed that every season of his series was connected. Wait, what? Look, it's Pepper, our very first connection. In season four, Murphy brought back fan favorite Pepper to reveal her origin story before Asylum. The connection got even deeper when everyone's favorite evil nun, Sister Mary Eunice, showed up in Freak Show. The series made an even bigger connection with Dr. Arden. Remember him from Asylum? In Freak Show, we saw him as the young doctor who took Elsa Mars' legs. And now that season five has kicked off, we know Hotel will connect to season one. For starters, we already saw Marcy, the murder house realtor, show up in Hotel this year. And the murder house finally made an appearance in Hotel. This season flashed back to the 1920s when Lady Gaga's Countess paid Dr. Charles Montgomery a visit, but more on him later. Those can't be the only connections in American Horror Story, right? Right. So here are the theories. Number one, Dante's Inferno. This theory is far from new, but Hotel proves it even further. It goes like this. Every season of American Horror Story is based on one of the levels of hell depicted in Dante's epic poem, Inferno. So in the tale, Dante journeys through the nine circles of hell, with the poet Virgil as his guide. Pretty much, we're Dante, Ryan Murphy is our Virgil. So season one, it represents the second circle of hell, lust. Here's the evidence. Ben Harmon cheated on his wife Vivian, then Mora the housekeeper tried to seduce Ben, and Patrick cheated on his boyfriend Chad. A lot of infidelity going on here. All right, season two. Asylum represents the seventh circle of hell, violence. Here we've got three layers, one for murderers, one for those who committed suicide, and one for blasphemers. If you remember Briarcliff, you know that it has all of those things. For one, it houses serial killers. It also has patients who've committed sins against God, at least in the eyes of Sister Jude. I mean, you would never intentionally expose these little angels to a homosexual, would you? Oh, and she enacts a lot of violence on them. So that makes sense. In season three, Coven depicts the ninth and deepest layer of hell, treachery. This is pretty much the overall theme of Coven, if you think about it. There's rivalry between the witches and the voodoo queen Marie Laveau. And Coven is filled with non-stop betrayals. Fiona betrays Cordelia, Fiona betrays Madison, Fiona betrays Myrtle, you get the idea. So that brings us to season four. I knew I was about to enter the gates of hell. That would be Sarah Paulson's Bet and Dot Tatler entering the fourth circle of hell, greed. Just think of Elsa Mar's unquenchable desire for fame, which she always puts before her family of freaks, no matter how much she loves them. She kidnapped Betten Dot and even killed her best friend Ethel when her dreams were compromised. And there's also Dandy Mott, whose thirst for murder is never enough. Finally, season five. So far, the Hotel Cortez is the third circle, gluttony. In Hotel, everyone is plagued by addiction. Addiction to drugs, alcohol, blood, and torture. Lots of torture. Oh, and this season also has a terrifying creature called the Addiction Demon, and a villain known as the Ten Commandments Killer. But season five, like season one, could also be read as the first circle of hell, Limbo. That's where the souls of the dead are trapped for eternity, paying for their sins. I'll get the shovel. You get the bleach. <sighs> okay, that was just theory one. Let's keep going. Theory number two. This next one has to do with the cast. We've seen Jessica Lang, Sarah Paulson, and Evan Peters in almost every season. But are each of their characters connected? This theory, which I like to call the seven deadly doppelgangers, predicts that each of their characters are souls forced to suffer and relive one of the seven deadly sins they committed. So let's start off with Lang. She's played Constance Langdon, Sister Jude, Fiona Good, and Elsa Mars. Each of these women are continually plagued by the sin of envy. They're always discontent with their own situations, and they're always craving what those around them possess. All right, now Sarah Paulson. She's played Billy Dean Howard, Lana Winters, Cordelia Fox, Betten Dot Tatler, and most recently, Sally. So what do all of these women have in common? Despite the disadvantage of their outsider qualities, they all thrive on pride. Maybe confidence is a better word for it, but still, it's their unwavering sense of dignity that always helps each of them survive the seasons, at least so far. All right, lastly, we have Evan Peters. His Tate Langdon, Kit Walker, Kyle Spencer, Jimmy Darling, and Mr. March are all controlled by wrath, shooting up high schools, murdering abusive mothers, holding grudges against alcoholic fathers, or just straight up murdering for sport. Their rage always erupts in violence or rebellion. So could each of these characters be the same person? Maybe American Horror Story is just about the characters from season one trapped in purgatory. Perhaps Ryan Murphy should have called his show American Horror Story Cloud Atlas. All right, theory number three, the Montgomerys. 
Remember Charles and Nora Montgomery from season one? Charles was the surgeon who secretly conducted abortions in the murder house basement in the 1920s. But then in Coven, Ryan Murphy introduced us to Madison Montgomery. Madison Montgomery, movie star. Hmm, not a man of coincidences. It seems intentional that Murphy used the name again. According to this theory, Charles and Madison are related, and they both possess powers of witchcraft. If you think about it, both Charles and Madison have brought the dead back to life, Frankenstein style. Madison did it in Coven with Kyle when he died, and we saw Charles again during the hotel flashback. But is this the last we'll see of the Montgomerys? He might be the connection tying everything together. Theory number four, the DeLongpreys. As it turns out, Constance Langdon of season one may possess some witchcraft too. Near the end of the first season, you'll probably remember Constance said that she had distant relatives with the last name DeLongpre living in Virginia. In Coven, the witch's name dropped Mimi DeLongpre, a former Supreme. Is everyone connected to witchcraft in American Horror Story? Does it all go back to the Salem witch trials? Speaking of Salem, that brings us to theory number five, locations. A handful of places have continually popped up in each season of American Horror Story. First is Massachusetts. It's been a part of almost every season. The Harmons moved from Boston in season one. Briarcliff in Asylum was set there. Coven referenced the Salem Witch Trials. And in Freak Show, Elsa once worked at a Boston circus, while Pepper's sister Rita was from Massachusetts. I bet good money that the state will pop up this season. Next up is Los Angeles. Both season one and five take place in LA in the present day, and in flashbacks to the 20s. We know Madison Montgomery came from LA, and in Freak Show, Elsa Mars traveled to Hollywood to host her own variety show. Finally, we arrive in Florida. While Freak Show took place there, the state is also home to the relatives of season one's Vivian Harmon. It's also worth noting that Eileen Wernos, the real life serial killer portrayed by Lily Rabe this season, killed seven men in Florida. Could there be more to the geography behind every season of American Horror Story? We'll just have to wait and find out. Now, last but not least, theory number six. Fans may remember Detective Jack Colquitt from Murder House. Detective Jack Colquitt, LAPD. If not, let me refresh your memory. He was the detective who stopped by the Harmons to investigate Ben's missing patient, Sally Freeman. She was the really boring one who made Ben fall asleep and who eventually attempted suicide. Yet oddly enough, a detective with the same exact name appeared in Freak Show. He was the one who arrested Jimmy. Although they're played by different actors, it seems far from coincidental that Jack Colquitt has appeared twice. Could he be the link connecting everything in American Horror Story? Is American Horror Story all one giant nightmare Jack Colquitt is having? Or was he abducted by the aliens from Asylum and sent back in time and forward into the future as a part of some sick plan to take over the human race? Is Ryan Murphy an alien? I'll leave it at that. See you at the Cortez. Thanks for watching. If you liked this, check out another one of our video essays or one of our top five countdowns. Subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and get the latest movie and TV news on ScreenCrush.com.